English language introducing capital Y simple Y and capital Z simple Z hello kids a very good morning to you all this is your English lesson today we are going to learn the last two letters of the alphabet let's learn what are the letters words and pictures beginning from those letters how to write into correct formation and how to write in the double rule book let's find out all right kids before we start today's lesson let's recall our last time lesson do you remember we have learned two letters first we have learned letter W this is capital W this is simple W now let's see what are the pictures that beginning with letter W web wet wig wall well whale watch water whistle wolf wheel watermelon window world w for world in singular we call lokaya world w for world all right kids these are the words that beginning with letter w now this is the correct formation of writing capital letter W and simple letter W. By looking at these red arrows, you all can get an idea. In the below, you can see how to write capital W and simple W in a double rule book. Alright kids, finally we have learned letter X. This is capital X this is simple X now let's see what are the pictures that beginning with letter X Xmas tree x-ray xylophone x-ray fish do you remember kids last time we have learned some words that coming with letter X here you can see that in here in red color you can see letter X at the end of the word all right let's recall these words ox box fox six fix mix these are the words that coming with letter X here you can see the correct formation of writing letter X capital X and simple X both are same but the different is the starting point capital X is starting from the top but the simple X starting from the middle in the below you can see how to write capital X and simple X in your double rule book all right then let's start today's lesson introducing capital Y and simple Y this is capital Y capital Y this is simple Y simple Y capital Y in red simple Y in blue now let's see what are the pictures that beginning with letter Y please repeat loudly after me Y for yak Y for yam Y for yolk, yolk in egg, 
the yellow area we called egg yolk yolk why for yacht why for yellow why for yo yo it's a toy yo yo why for yellow bird why for yogurt why for yawn all right kids let's repeat yak yam yolk yat yellow yo yo yellow bird yogurt yawn all right then let's see the correct formation of writing capital y and simple y first we'll move on to capital y start from the top and make a slanting line down to the right till the middle go to the top again and now make a slanting line down to the left till the middle from the meeting point of these lines draw a standing line to the bottom cut it start from the top and make a slanting line down to the right till the middle go to the top again and now make a slanting line down to the left till the middle from the meeting point of these lines draw a standing line to the bottom all right okay next simple y start from the middle and make a slanting line down to the right till the center go back to the middle and draw a slanting line down to the left reach in the bottom start from the middle and make a slanting line down to the right till the center go back to the middle and draw a slanting line down to the left reach in the bottom there are only two parts for both capital Y and simple Y. I hope by looking at these red arrows, you all can get an idea. Okay, now let's see how to write capital Y in your double rule book. Here you can see that. This is the way how to write simple Y in your double rule book. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to write capital Y and simple Y on the white board. Let's see the formation. Alright kids, now we are going to learn the final letter of the alphabet. Letter Z. Introducing capital Z and simple Z. This is capital Z. This is simple Z. Capital Z in red and simple Z in blue. Did you see children? Both letters are similar each other but they are different in the size. Okay. And here I want to tell you we can pronounce this letter in two ways. One way is this is letter Z. The other way is letter Z. Letter Z. Capital Z and simple Z. Capital Z and simple Z. Both are correct. All right. Next, we'll see what are the pictures that beginning with letter Z. Please repeat loudly after me. Z for zip. Z for zero. Z for zoo. Z for zebra. Z for zigzag. Children, can you see this pattern? 
we call this pattern as zigzag. Z for zebu. Zebu is a type of cow with a hump. Did you see children? It has a huge hump on his back. Those type of cows we call as zebu. Zebu. All right, children. Let's repeat. Z for zip. Z for zero. Z for zoo. Z for zebra. Z for zigzag. Z for zebu. Zip. Zero, zoo, zebra, zigzag, zebu. These are the letters that beginning with letter Z or letter Z. Now let's see the correct formation of writing capital Z and simple Z. First, we'll move on to capital Z. Start from the top and draw a slipping line towards the right and then make a slanting line down towards the left which in the bottom. Now again draw a slipping line from the bottom towards the right. Understood? Start from the top and draw a slipping line towards the right and then make a slanting line down towards the left which in the bottom. Now again draw a slipping line from the bottom towards the right. Right? Okay. Next, simple Z. Start from the middle and draw a slipping line towards the right. And then make a slanting line towards the left reach in the bottom. Now again draw a slipping line from the bottom towards the right the same way but the difference is the starting point again start from the middle and draw a slipping line towards the right and then make a slanting line down towards the left reach in the bottom now again draw a slipping line from the bottom towards the right right it's very easy okay and remember, you are not going to uplift your pencil until you finish writing this letter Z. Okay, both capital and simple Z. Alright, now let's see how to write capital Z in a double rule book. Here, you can see that. Next, we will see how to write simple Z in your double rule book. All right. Can you see children? The both letters are similar to each other. But see the starting point. Capital Z is start from this red rule of your double roll book. But simple Z you need to write down between the two blue rules. All right? Okay. Now, I'm going to show you how to write capital Z and simple Z on the whiteboard. Just see the formation. Alright children, I hope you all learned today's lesson well. Then, I'm going to stop my lesson for today. We will meet in another new lesson. Have a nice day, stay safe, be happy and do your studies well. Goodbye.